welcome. It's a fantastic day today. Wel welcome to Prime Sports. My name is Austin Sorens, and this is where sports lives. We just had a little bit of throwback, as today is a throwback Thursday, and um, it's a special one because Super Sunday comes this Sunday at the Premier League, and it's going to be Arsenal versus Chelsea. So the whole show is tailored in that regard. I'm not alone. I've got my co-host, co-pilot, none other than Arsenal commander himself. <laughs> Himself, I don't, yes, I don't even man. know how that was slipped don't out worry. of my mouth. Don't worry, he's there, but Arsenal, don't worry. Arsenal, Arsenal commander himself. So. It's, it's a nice one, it's a nice one. You like one. it, right? I, I like I like it. I like it. On the show, I like it. It's good. Arsenal commander. Yeah. Mm. Reporting for duty, sir. Yes, at your service. At your service does not mean you don't give us, <laughs> give us good things at your service, please. I, I no, but you know what's interesting? I'm rooting for Arsenal this particular um, um, London derby. Yeah, you know, you, you know, we've talked about it and... Even prior to, prior to these times, you know, even when Una Emery fought Una Emery, a bit, some persons will say that um, when Arsenal is doing bad, they just they think no matter the position they, they end up with the just league. Just look for Chelsea. Just look for Chelsea. At the moment they, they win Chelsea woman away, then it's okay, it's okay. Please, Chelsea is not the, it's not the trophy, please. It's not the league. <laughs> please uh -huh. give us this. So that we're talking about. It's not the league. Just give us something interesting to get the word. So for me, I'm looking at this match and also my at the next match. See, against City. Against City. I still think you'll prevail. Uh, you, you know, uh, well, let's 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 see how that pans. Somebody said jokingly. Let me tell you what someone said jokingly. Someone said that Mikel Arteta copied Pep Guardiola's dressing pattern, but he forgot his tactics, his style of tactics. Wow. So let's get to see wow, why. That's, 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 that's been savage on another level. That's deep. Like that's super savage. That's All right, savage so um, that's the, that's going to be the focus for today. We're going we're to be taking your calls. Want to hear your thoughts, um, Arsenal fans, um, Chelsea fans. In fact, Ambassador, I don't know how you're going to win this one because. One Chelsea fan has already come out straight and told me, if Arsenal beats Chelsea, let him dot, 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 dot. Ah. He said I should fill in the blank spaces. <laughs> Yourself. He's, he's that confident ah. that Arsenal is going to fall at the Emirates. But I think otherwise, because one thing Chelsea fans are not factoring is that without fans, without fans, <laughs> they beat you home and away last season. So even this great Thomas Tuchel, the Champions League and Super Cup winner, has fallen to um, Arsenal. So... Me, I mean, I'm just going to go out straight and say it right here, right now. You know you heard it here from me. Arsenal is winning that game with two goals. Is that a 2-0 or 2-1? I'm saying it. But I don't see Chelsea scoring in that game. Ah. Even though Lukaku is likely going to start, and um, more on Lukaku tomorrow. But, 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 but one thing I know, that if Lukaku starts, it's going to be a problem because that Why? guy, that, that Why? guy, that guy, that guy. See, there's something, uh, Lukaku reminds me of a Didier Drogba. Yeah. A Didier Drogba against Arsenal any day, any time. You just... And but there's sure. no Drogba again. See. And Drogba took his number nine spirit with him. I, you know, you, you can say that again, like he took his number nine spirit, but every time, I, I remember every time we just think Drogba, why? No, not again. He, and the guy had that, he, he had that, he took that relish in scoring against Arsenal, like, mm, when he scores, it, it does like, I told you, like, <laughs> I, I, I told you. Yeah, Arsenal so, but fans dreaded if, 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 if Lukaku is going to be playing, Lukaku is going to be playing, most likely, if he's going to be playing, that means we are going to be looking at, um, it's, it's not the Timo Werner that doesn't take his chances. Wow, Timo. Timo doesn't take his chances, we know that. But give, give a Lukaku the chance, even half chance, half a chance. He can score with the right leg, he can score with the left leg, he can score with his head. He has the stamina, has the balance. That is, that is your perspective, your, your dream number nine any day, any time. And that is a person of Romelu Lukaku now. It's not the one at that time, but now. You know, look at the, 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 the clips. We also saw a Mo Salah then. How I was going to come to you that. Know? Yeah, the numbers are on the screen yes. right now. So if you want to join in this conversation, you can go ahead and do so. And I think that that's, it's going to be interesting how we see our um, first major London derby of the season. True. Arsenal taking on Chelsea at the Emirates. With, the, with fans, so mm -hmm. let's not forget that part. So just Arsenal thing. has that extra advantage. Yeah, you may say they lost their game against Brentford, and let's leave that one. Arsenal has a way with smaller teams. But when it comes to Chelsea, I know Arsenal become a different other animal, and I'm expecting that Arsenal to turn up. And, um, and people are wondering, Austin, you saw you're rooting for Arsenal. Do you hate Chelsea that much? I don't hate Chelsea. I just know that Arsenal is going to do something it, you know, spectacular. It, it, when you talk about this, it's sometimes a person, why are, you, why are you saying this? The same way people, when, when Pep was to face Tuchel, was like, Tuchel has Pep's mumu button. <laughs> any day, any time. You know, it's more, more like they beat them home, <laughs> home away yeah, and uh, abroad. Uh, exactly. Home away and abroad. Be them in, be them in, be them All right, we have our first caller on the line, and this one is going to excite me because for the first time in history, we are on the same page. We have Pastor Glory on the line calling us from <laughs> Josh. Hello, Pastor Glory. Welcome to the show. 
Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh -huh. Just to assure you, Asuma is not going to lose that game. Yes. Bam. Forget about the first game. We don't, it's not an appetizer. Mm. We welcome them. But this time around, you will see good game. Yes, I am assuring you, okay. they will win us. You either win them or we draw the game. Bam. Okay. I have a okay. question to ask, though. Uh -huh. Number so, one, I have to... Friend, don't worry, eh? Rest yes, sir. assured. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Pastor Glory, I'm... backing us. You know what is behind us. Mm. Uh -huh. That's... Thank mm. you very much. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you very much, <laughs> Pastor Glory. Even though you kind of evaded my questions. But I'm still going to throw the question to you and as many Arsenal fans because um, I think it was two days ago, we had quite a number of Arsenal fans call us and I was really impressed because they stood up for their own. Maybe we should bring in more Arsenal fans on the show so that you guys can rep your your fellow colleagues because they didn't disappoint ambassador they didn't leave you hanging at all not so at all in and spite of the loss there. that's, 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 of, that's yes, the part that me yes. in spite of the loss to Brentford tripping, on Friday yes, on yeah. Monday a lot of Arsenal fans called in we, we had at least three or four Arsenal call, um, fans calling so I'm going to throw the question back to Pastor Glory and Arsenal fans um, my question is you say you're, you're assuring me that you will not lose worst case scenario draw who in the Arsenal team is going to who in the Arsenal team is going to um, hold that back for, for you? Then number mm. two, who is going to score? Because rumor has it that Aubameyang and Lacazette are not going to play that game also. But we have a call coming in from Sokoto. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the show. Abdullahi, I think. Abdul, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning, Abdullahi. Hello? Arsenal will win Chelsea. Bam. Oh, wow. All right. So yeah. you want to tell us the, the score line by any chance? 3-1. 3-1. Ah. Babana, babana, nagation ka. Ina salute in ka to. Vadamwa. He has said it. Thank you very much. God Thank bless you. you. All right, so um, Ab 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 Abdul says he, Arsenal is going to win 3-1. And I'm sure the Chelsea fans, where are the Chelsea fans? First of all? Well, like, I'm, I'm waiting for the Chelsea see, fans. For me, like, let me talk like Abdul. Well, like, for me, any, anybody want to say is uh, the count of it because as long as you have said we are winning all the way from Sokoto to Vadamwa. It's coming from Sokoto. Yeah. The, the, the upper mana. That's, that is, he talks about the seats. We are enjoying the seats. See, whether they like it or not, we are winning the match. And we know that when it comes to the big teams, uh, sometimes there's a ton of, not so, some big teams, especially Chelsea. Don't go, I know you're tapping your finger. When it comes to Man City, I'm not, I'm not there. When it comes to Liverpool, I've left the WhatsApp group. <laughs> because that, that boy, Sadio Mane, he likes to score us with relish. <laughs> Sergio Mane reminds me of the drug bar, but the slimmer version. <laughs> I'm telling you. I remember very vividly when Arsenal played against Liverpool, and that was the first match that Sergio Mane played, that Jurgen Klopp unleashed him on us that day. I'm telling you, that guy, he was unleashed on us, I'm telling you. The guy ran riots. Our defense line ask you, could not really, really do anything about that. That's not fun that I can see right now. I'm okay. going to ask you a question on behalf of Pastor Glory and <laughs> Abdullahi. Okay. Number one, mm. who is going to defend for you? That defense. I need to, you need to educate us on your back four. Oh, uh, yes. Right now. That, that defense, I, you, you know, uh, for, for me, I, I know that Ben White is there. Okay, but that's the, one of your record signings. One of our record signings, yeah. and if there's anything at all that we're looking for him to get to turn up, these are the days we really, really, really need him to turn up. And knowing full of well that we are playing a, a team that we, we are not, um, we, we are not unfamiliar with them. We are familiar with them. We know what it what it takes. It, it's going to be that we would face them, and I I, I, I would really, really want that the coach will use experience. That is even in our back, our, our back line. Experience. And Who in Arsenal has experience? Talking about experience. No, we, we, we have, we have, for me, if you, you, you I, can, I, you can, you can Gabriel, call out. Except, 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 if, except if, if, if it's injured, if it's injured, that's, I know that I, I would have, okay, that because it's injured or anything, or maybe anything comes up. If it's not injured, I really want a, a Gabriel and a, and a Ben White. A Gabriel and a Ben White would be beautiful for. The central, the central back. At Where's that your um, Ivorian player? I, I, Ivorian or Ghanaian? Party. Where's yes, Party? No, pa Party has injury. No, Party. No, it, He's it, been no, injured like forever. You know, you know this thing. There are players that are injury prone. And that is yet one to man. Yet sign him. Yeah, okay. Yet we sign him. You know, that's where, that's where you always get angry with sometimes. I wonder, you know, what's the coach doing? If you know someone is injured, this guy is prone to injury. Just the way when Usman Dembele was signed, 
you know, it's like when he went to well, Barca, Barca, Barcelona. I, that guy is a is a prolific player, you know. But when injury comes and sets in, some of these guys, the moment the injury comes, you don't see them give their best. The best is always. I remember when we had when we had Wisher in our team. Yeah, and I saw him that injury. You know that it was a ter terrible thing, terrible experience. You know, and when the injury comes, when the person comes, they always they will play. They don't. They all they are playing now with caution, and you don't blame them oh. because anything happens, that will be the end of your career.